Good morning. So I thought just do a little range check um, exercise on the e-tron today. Um, so it's quite early in the morning. It's four degrees Celsius, quite a strong northerly wind at the moment. And today I've got to go from down here in Dorset at this edge of the New Forest um, to an industrial estate just outside Heathrow Airport. And uh, that is because of a couple of road closures, about 93 miles to get up there. And uh, I've got to come back again this evening. So just thought I'd do a quick um, range check on this thing and uh, just let you know how it goes. So having turned the car on, it was at a full charge overnight and it said a range of 218 miles when I switched it on. It's now saying, because I put the destination to the sat nav 211 miles, because it knows that the, um, the routing is a bit more motorway than my recent driving. So it's adjusted that. So it says a range of 211. Um, total journey time today should be around 190. So pretty comfortable that we are gonna do it, but I'll just uh, set off and I'll give you a, a fill in a bit later on. Okay, so I've, uh, I've reached work and uh, just show you quickly on the screen there. Um, when I left home, because it knew it was mainly motorway, it adjusted the range from 218 to 211 uh, because it knew the nature of the journey. It's now saying 117 of range and 91 miles covered. So it should have got here showing 120, it's showing 117. So in terms of the predicted range, that's pretty good. And you can see it's still a cold day. It's three and a half degrees now. It was only two or two and a half for most of the journey. Always stays just a little bit warmer where I live uh, down on the coast. So um, it's been a cold morning and uh, the range has done as predicted uh, pretty much. It's within a couple of miles of that, so not too bad. You see the efficiency there, 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour, which isn't brilliant, but it's uh, it's fairly typical for this car in uh, cold conditions. And just showing the battery state there, it's at 54% right now. So I left with uh, 99 or 100, so I've used 45, 46% of battery. It means I should get home with about 8%, uh, which um, is reasonably comfortable. And um, I'm just gonna pop in return journey to home and let it work that out for me. So you can see there, it just comes up. It knows I'm gonna be on a fairly low battery, but I absolutely guaranteed of getting a charge when I get home because I have a charge on my driveway. So I'm gonna ignore the uh, plan there. You can see the range ring in as well, and it's got uh, the route down to home. And the other thing is I can just tap on the destination there, and it says I'll get in with 8%. So um, looking pretty good so far. Should be able to get home, should have a bit of a margin, uh, but we'll run home with this later, and then I will do some maths and let you know what this cost me in terms of my energy price and how that would compare with the diesel. Okay, all set for return journey now and uh, just turn the car on, it's showing 115 miles of range. Temperature's come up to seven degrees and I've got just over 90 miles to do to get home. So I'm just gonna push a couple of buttons, see what it says on the range and the um, battery margin. So expecting to see the 8% that I had this morning. So it looks like the, uh, the slightly warmer temperature has changed things slightly. Instead of being 8% on arrival, it's just showing 9% now and uh, 108 miles of range just to do over 90. So we'll be down just below 20 miles. So that usually means we'll get the turtle coming on um, just to show us the, the kind of uh, bottom end of the battery range. If I did want to charge, it uh, suggests uh, a shell charger at Chandra's Ford near Southampton. That would work really nicely. I've used that one before when I've been a bit low and uh, that's a good charger, uh, but I'm just gonna head straight to home and uh, we'll go from there. So a little update later on in a couple of hours. So home now after the trip, and as you can see there, just on the uh, long-term memory, 182 miles covered, and a range remaining of 25. Uh, don't be alarmed by the fact that that's in red. Uh, that just means that that system is selected as opposed to some of the, the other things. At 30 miles to go, that battery warning pops up. If I, and then the battery meter just down here at the bottom turns red, just to uh, give you a little reminder. If I went beyond 20 miles of range remaining, um, the power available drops from 100, gradually creeps down a little bit, but you can basically drive the car normally. Um, the efficiency you can see there, 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour on the way back. 
and just coming round, I have got 10% battery remaining. So I'm going to go do some maths and uh, work out what this cost me. But as you can see, with uh, 182 covered, 25 remaining, that gave me a range today of 207 miles. And uh, it was two and a half degrees this morning. It didn't get much up above four on the way up. On the way down, although it was a bit warmer when I left uh, the airport, temperature dropped down to about four degrees on the motorway. And then I've had a little bit of sleet and snowstorm uh, just blowing through, just a few snow flurries, quite a lot of sleet on the dual carriageway. But I've basically driven at 70 mile an hour where I can all the way, which is the vast majority of the drive. Uh, just 10 miles between here and dual carriageway at Ringwood. Then it's 70 limit pretty much all the way until the last five miles just uh, going in past the airport. So not too bad, 207 miles, winter conditions, motorway. I think that's pretty reasonable. So while I'm outside my daughter's music school, I'll just give you a little update. It's a 95 kilowatt hour battery pack I used. 86 of that is usable and I've used 90% of that usable. So that was 77.4 kilowatts. My home electricity price after the price rise, that would have come in at £21.67 for the journey. Uh, so that's the price of that. Now, if I had my old diesel, got 40 to the gallon on that, I'd use just over four and a half gallons, uh, which would be um, almost 21 litres. Fuel at the moment, £1.75 at the local garage. It was one ninety four up on the motorway. So it would have cost me £36 instead of the £21.67. So another £15 more to use it in diesel. If I wanted to do the journey in a diesel at the same price as my electric, I'd need to be getting nearly 67 miles to the gallon on uh, that car. Or if I was using a rapid charger and I wanted to do this for the same price as it would cost me in diesel, I could be paying 47 pence per kilowatt hour for my electricity and it would come in the same price as diesel.